Wow, so you can't even you can't even one run to feed. That's how fail you are. I don't care if you're using a bronze knife. Minor HP recovery. Oh god, there's a Halberti among them. He's got a tactical nuke too far. Ow. Hey, my ass went up. One of the Venonets wants to go first? Well, sure, I can, I'll be happy to tangle with you. Let's see, you know how to dance better with lances. Oh god, there's a bow user. A long bow user. Hey, look, it's another mage douche. Fortunately, Lucia's fancy blue hair is better than the mage the magic. Anyway, back on the topic of the mages in FE4, fire fire magic was power, and the fire mages were power type. Thun thunder magic thunder magic wasn't really powerful, but it was more ac but you know or accurate. But all pretty much every magic was the same in FE FE4 if you remember correctly. But the thunder magic was. The Thunder Mages were the accurate type, so they had high sk higher skill than most than the other units did. And then you had and then you had Wind Magic, which was of course the most overpowered of the bunch because they because they had low weight, and the Wind Mages were the speedy type. And and unless you didn't see my FE4 Let's Play or done or haven't played FE4, speed is everything in FE4. If you don't have speed, you're out of luck. Yeah, it's not like it's gonna matter. Oh, I don't know, barely even use it anyway. Use it again. Yeah! Rawr, rawr, kitty. Rawr, rawr. Use some olive grass. Why not? Why the hell not? Priests in my way? Let's kill more clergymen! That'll surely put us in good graces with the goddess. Surely! Oh, Fire Emblem. We love you so. At least I do. Ah, oh, this is some. This is, like a, this is a bit of a personal thing right now I'm going to talk about, but I just don't like how ba how badly the, the, the fandom has devolved into. Like, if you visit stuff forums like Serenus Forest forums or other for or other such Fire Emblem forums, you'd notice that the fandom is really spread thin nowadays, and all they really care about are who can do the who can uh really uh what kind of challenges they can impose, tier lists, ranked runs, which are stupid beyond belief, by the way, in my opinion. Failure. And they just don't care about the fun of the game anymore because I guess they played the series to death and they just don't want to talk about anything else anymore. That's stupid though. Failure! Oh yeah! I can double you! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Level up! Stats, Nephany? Skill. Defense. Ooh, defense! Good! I'll take the defense. Would appreciate if you got speed, but that's fine. So they don't really talk about much of the game anymore, much as they wanted to impose challenges on themselves. And they do it in such a nerdy, alien fashion, alienating most of the other fan ba fans that ever try to get close to them. When it comes to the games, at least. Especially when it came when it comes to this game. Oh god, I'll get me started about the fan. 
about some of the fan base and what it involves this game. They like to post so many challenges on hard mode or ranked runs on hard mode, it's it's ridiculous. Hey look, we've got reinforcements to deal with. Laugh if you'd be so kind of this two about face. An edge. That's what you get to use it. What's up? I miss the old days of the fandom. Back when the fandom was actually fun and interesting. Like you guys. I I hate to say it, but what reading your reading your viewer comments is a much is much better than the test is a much better testament to the old to the fandom of old than what we got now. And that's the fandom I like and appreciate. It. And guys, one thing to say, continue being yourselves. Really, just continue being yourselves. I like it when the fandom is like the one I see right now on YouTube. Surprisingly. Better than the better than the stuff I see over at Serena's forum. Caught you. Ugh. So never stop changing, guys. Or just be yourselves. Am I on? I'm so emotional now. Her, look at me talking about old days like some raggedy old man. God, I'm hilarious. Drink some more iced tea. Hmm. Also, I'm sure you've noticed by now how slow, how slow the hair and um, how slow the hair and transformation gauge builds up. I mean, it's fucking slow in this game. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, uh, Mordecai can stay there. It's just embarrassing how slow it is. Alright, so let's see what we've talked about so far. Different vision ranges in this game. Oh, that's right. Uh huh. Yeah, you've noticed, like, cats. Like, in this game, cats can see a little farther than most, and birds have trouble seeing at all. Even some, even some standard Bjork classes have, have a bit of better vision than most. Like a soldier has pretty average vi Oh god, it's a warrior. Ooh, what kind of weapon is that? A crossbow and fire emblem? <gasps> Looks like I'll talk about that too. <laughs> His fur is made of scout! Ah, oh, the poison was purged. Ow! Ow! All right, here we've got a warrior. As we know, these are the fighter class. These are the fighter class change. I gotta say, the warrior is at its best in this game in terms of raw statistics. They've got the best caps, in my honest opinion, when it when it comes to overall strength and speed. Like you can probably like you can probably compare the overall caps like in other games like in FE6 or Shadow Dragon where the warriors have some better stats like 28 defense. I don't get that. Really when the warriors are barely ever going to reach that high a cap. But in this game they have really good caps and they're just pretty awesome. You notice that warriors are no longer able to use bows to an extent. They're no longer able to use bows, however they are able to use these. These are bow guns. And the bow gun class and the bow gun class. Hate these. Hate these with a passion. Especially when you're around flyer when they're around flyers. 
Holy crap. A crossbow, think of it this way, is a re is a is pretty much a ranged um It's a ranged it's a a bow you can use at melee range. Let's hype fully heal. That alone is useful. Do bear in mind though, that that while it's all while it's used while it's used at melee range, as you saw it had 24 might. Do know it doesn't add to your strength stat. So it just runs off of its might alone. Like a ballista does. All of the bow guns in the game are accurate. They all have 100 accuracy. Excuse me. And also the real kicker, even though even though they're they don't add to your strength stat because of their ridiculous might, they are a monster against flying units. Not Dracos. If you are a flyer unit and you come across a cross an enemy with a crossbow, you are dead. You are dead. Instant death. You are dead. Unless you're like Big Jesus or someone. I'm not exaggerating. Like Tabar is one of the few units in the game that can that can take a crossbow shot and live to tell the tale about it. By proxy, if Marsha gets caught on one of those crossbows, it's instant death for her. No matter what. No matter what. Oh, hey, look! The only rogue in- the only generic rogue in the game! If you're playing on easy mode, it's, a, it's another thief. But if you're playing on normal or hard, it's a rogue! What's he doing hiding down here? Well, we'll have to find out! Failure! Oof. So yeah. Beware, beware of crossbows, wherever you see one. And do that to them. Just jump, just jump in the air and critical them in the face like you've never seen before. That is the best way to take care of a crossbow user. Ah, this arm. Let's swap that venom lance before he gets a chance to re-equip it. Heather, about face. Thank you very kindly. Oh. Okay. Hulk. Ah, uh, I hate crossbows. I really fucking hate crossbows. One, two, three, four, five, six. Run away, lads! Ah! See, a bird, a, a, a bird can't even see two uh, a square in front of him. That's sad, man. Never been able to get a poison weapon before. This is cool. Right. 
Free vulnerary! That one away. Healers douche- Healers douches! Big on clergyman! 